Oh god, here we go. The movie opens up in Bush State Prison, a maximum level facility located in the southwestern region of the United States. It is run by a twisted warden named Bill Boss, known for his cruel and sadistic ways of dealing with the inmates. He is also a hardcore cannibal who is always looking forward to consuming human meat. In the opening scene, he is accompanied by his accountant, Dwight Butler, as they watch a gruesome movie called The Human Centipede 2. After the movie ends, Bill complains that it was very boring and childish. However, his assistant Daisy says that she absolutely loved it. She even goes as far as to say that Bill's movie preferences are weird. This angers the cruel warden so much that he goes on a hateful rant, claiming that women should not be allowed to express their opinions, especially if that opinion is that it's cool for people's faces to be st uh, stitched to people's buttholes. After a while, Bill and Dwight are summoned to a scene where an inmate has apparently killed someone. As they walk through the corridors, Dwight reveals that their prison has higher turnover, violence rates, and medical costs than any other institution in the U.S. correctional system. He warns Bill that they must take action to improve these metrics or else they will be replaced by the governor. However, Bill completely disregards his advice. I'm the boss, baby. You keep your mouth shut. Upon arriving at the scene of the assault, they discover that one of the prison officers has been stabbed by an inmate. For this act, Bill punishes him by brutally stomping on his arm. He doesn't stop until the poor man's bone is exposed. However, despite this, the inmate vows to repeat his actions once his bones get healed. Then, all of a sudden, all the prisoners start disrespecting him from their cells. They all unite in a deafening chorus, shouting that he deserves to be killed because of his heinous act of violence to the prisoners. When the shouting becomes even louder, an infuriated Bill lashes out at them by fire firing his gun aimlessly. He also screams at the top of his lungs that he deserves respect. I'm the boss, damn it! You will respect me, baby! Upon returning back to his office, Bill proposes the reintroduction of medieval torture methods and lists some of them. Shortly after, Daisy enters the room carrying a package for Bill, and Dwight asks about its contents. Bill reveals that it is a jar of specially imported, dried female organ pickles, which he consumes for additional strength. Ugh. Wow. Not long after, Bill receives a threatening call, warning him that a death squad is coming to kill him. This causes him to panic, so he hastily locks his door and hides under his desk. He believes that the call is real this time, implying that he has been threatened before. Dwight, however, remains unfazed and calls the number back. An officer on the other end informs him that one of the inmates made a prank call using a fake phone number. When Bill learns of this, he is consumed with rage and orders the officers to hold the inmate in custody. As punishment, he he chooses to brutally waterboard three buckets of boiling water over the victim's head. Billy Boss and the boiling boards, baby, let's go! Woo! Later that day, the governor arrives to discuss the burning issue of the prison's escalating violence. He orders Bill and his accountant to put an end to it and warns them that they will be fired if they fail to do so within the next two weeks. In a fit of rage, Bill unleashes a tirade of profanity at the governor as he departs, unable to contain his frustration. Despite the governor's warning, Bill remains stubborn and unwavering in his desire to maintain control over the prison and impose his own brand of justice. As part of his twisted methods of punishment, Bill orders Dwight to send the prisoners out into the sweltering heat of the yard. As usual, the inmates are rowdy and unruly, ignoring Bill's commands over the megaphone. However, when he announces that one of them will be chosen to undergo castration, most of them fall silent. Billy Ball's gonna bite your balls, baby! You best look out now! He then selects the inmate who had previously spoken badly of him and proceeds to carry out the brutal act of castration himself. After completing the gruesome procedure, Bill washes his face with the blood of the victim, displaying his utter lack of remorse and twisted sense of satisfaction. He even goes on to consume the victim's test of what the fuck? Considering it a source of energy. Man. In the following scene, Bill pays a visit to the prisoners who are receiving medical treatment in the clinic, along with the one he castrated himself. As he examines the inmate, he informs the doctor that they will be conducting mass castration on all the inmates starting the next day. The bully's balls belong to Bill Boss. Later that evening, Dwight proposes a solution to improve the prison's appalling retention and violence rates to Bill. He suggests sewing all of the prisoners together, mouth to butt, to form a massive human centipede, which would serve as the ultimate deterrent to crime. <laughs> 
Great idea, Dwight, yeah. Dwight also reveals that Daisy has spoken to the film directors of Human Centipede 2, who confirmed that it is medically accurate. However, Bill finds the idea impossible, so he angrily terminates Dwight from his position. In retaliation, the latter hurls profanities at Bill before departing his office. This enrages the sadistic warden so much that he grabs his megaphone and spews all sorts of insults and slurs, even though no one is present to hear him. Afterwards, Bill has a terrifying nightmare, in which he is surrounded and assaulted by the very inmates he has abused and tormented. In his dream, he pleads for mercy, showing vulnerability and weakness, but his cries for help fall on deaf ears as he is brutally handled by the inmate he had previously castrated. The next morning, Bill wakes up to the news that Tom Six, the director of The Human Centipede 2, is arriving at the prison. Dwight also returns and makes a final plea for Bill to consider his idea for a human centipede as a way to deter crime and violence in the prison. He promises to quit his job himself if it does not work. Upon Tom arrival, the discussion about the human centipede unfolds. Tom presents a detailed report prepared by a surgeon from Amsterdam to demonstrate the medical accuracy and feasibility of the centipede idea. The prison doctor examines the report and confirms its validity, further explaining how the centipede could work. This finally convinces Bill, and he says yes. In the next scene, Bill decides to show the inmates the previous two human centipede movies as a warning for what is to come. Once the movie ends, he enters the room and discloses that all the prisoners will be subjected to the same procedure. This revelation causes an immediate uproar as the inmates start reacting violently. They chase Bill and Dwight to their office, where Daisy is beaten unconscious. Dwight quickly summons the armed soldiers as an emergency backup, while Bill escapes by jumping out of the window. Billy Boss is bailing now! Eventually, the backup arrives and manages to herd all the prisoners into place. Once the situation is calmed down, Dwight finds Bill and informs him of Daisy's severe injuries. However, Bill is only concerned about getting medical attention for himself. He then walks out into the prison yard and announces that it will become a living hell for everyone. Later, Bill begins his plan to turn the prisoners into a giant human centipede. He goes from cell to cell, tranquilizing each inmate and then relishing in the sight of the guards carrying them away. The scene then shifts to the medical ward where Bill explains the detailed procedure to the doctor. During the operation, the doctor mentions that one of the prisoners has explosive diarrhea, to which Bill happily suggests attaching him to the inmate he had castrated earlier. This is so disgusting. Moreover, incompatible prisoners are shot and killed during the process process, as they do not fit the necessary requirements. Later that day, Bill and Dwight visit Daisy, who is now in a coma. Dwight suggests taking her to a better hospital, but Bill insists on keeping her close to him. The day after, Bill is eager to ensure that the human prison centipede takes place in the yard, where the governor can witness it during his visit to the prison. He instructs his accountant to make the necessary arrangements. Overwhelmed with excitement, Bill and Dwight indulge in a bit of role-playing, with Bill pretending to be the governor and congratulating himself on the idea. However, Dwight reminds him that he was the one who originally came up with the idea. Later on, Tom arrives at the prison to inspect the operation of the human centipede. While touring the cells, the group comes across a mentally unstable inmate who is eating his own excrement and desiring to be a part of the centipede. Bill is enraged and immediately shoots him dead, as he does not want anyone to derive pleasure from this grotesque punishment. Afterward, the trio proceeds to the operating room where the surgery is in progress. Tom watches as the death row inmates are being mutilated and sewn together for this so-called special project. He becomes nauseated and vomits due to the horrific sight. A few days later, the governor returns to the prison to find that Bill and Dwight are looking extremely pleased with themselves. He inquires what they have done to make such a drastic change in their attitude, to which Bill explains that they have accomplished something great and unique. The governor is then led to a large yard where a 500-person centipede is displayed before him. Bill is extremely proud of his creation, but Dwight is heartbroken when he finds that Daisy has been accidentally sewn into the centipede. On top of that, they have also created a human caterpillar by suturing together death row inmates and those with life sentences. However, unlike the human centipede, these prisoners' limbs have been amputated, rendering them immobile and resembling a caterpillar. Oh my god. The governor is completely appalled by what he witnesses. Following this, they take him to the clinic room where an inmate whose prison sentence has been completed is staying. Bill takes this opportunity to showcase the post-minor injuries the prisoners sustain, implying that it is a humane way to punish them. However, the governor is horrified by what he sees, and decides that Bill and Dwight should be punished with the death penalty. Sensing the danger, Bill attempts to shift the blame to his accountant, but the governor is having none of it. As soon as he leaves, Bill realizes the gravity of the situation. Oh no, Billy Boss is busted, man! And considers committing the unthinkable. The next second, he changes his mind, though, and turns the gun towards Dwight, blaming him for everything. But just as he is about to pull the trigger, the prison doctor walks in and begins laughing at their failed attempts. Bill, 
filled with rage, shoots the doctor and kills him on the spot. On the other hand, the governor, after some contemplation, returns to the prison with an unexpected change of heart. He now believes that the controversial centipede punishment is just what the United States needs, and even claims that it could boost his chances of being elected as the president. Before leaving, the governor congratulates Bill, who has played a key role in making the centipede punishment a reality. Overwhelmed with joy, Bill and Dwight celebrate their victory, fully aware that their jobs are now secure. Billy Boss is basking in it, y'all! However, as Dwight tries to claim credit for the idea, Bill quickly silences him by shooting and killing him so that he can take all the credit for himself. Didn't see that coming. In the final scene, we see Bill standing undressed, looking out over the monstrous centipede, screaming with ecstatic joy at his successful accomplishment. I'd just like to take a serious moment to say that I don't endorse stuff like this. I don't endorse it at all. I can't stand it. I don't want it. I don't want it to be a real thing. <laughs> I hate it. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.